if I had one word to describe this episode, I'd probably say overpowered. So I think there were some group of the cat. Our episode starts out as I think some people from the capital trying to attack Night Raid, trying to find out their base. Takes like a minute to wipe all of them out, especially Mine. Like that sniper she has is called is an Imperial Arm weapon called a pumpkin. It's just so overpowered. Plus she's a sniper. It's just wow. And I'm gonna get to her um, in a little bit. So we have Bulat and we have Tatsumi. Um, two men. They're bonding up. So he want Tat he wants Tatsumi to call him bro or handsome. So. Of course, Tatsumi's gonna go with bro. So we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hear um probably me calling him bro from now on, Bulat that is. And then he turns around, uses his incursio and turns into some freaking well he turns into the armor he had, but looks freaking like freaking Eureka Seven, Gundam Wing, uh Kojiash Mecha robot, whatever. He looks like a freaking robot with all that armor on. But then we're gonna see all of those guys wiped out. And then there's, um, Boss, um, asked Tatsumi to be Mine's subordinate because last time, remember, um, he had to be a subordinate and do training with Mine. So they're going into the capital and they're just exploring. This wasn't really training, but I could feel Tatsumi right now going like, you call this training? All we've been doing is just shopping. He was basically Mine's ex, um, escort for the entire day and he got so mad and, Finally, somebody that stands up to like um, a pitchy character like Mine, because I couldn't stand her. Like um, in in her past, um, she was a foreigner, half foreigner, and she was rejected, accepted. I mean, there's that past right there. Uh, you got a crabby character that always has a messed up past, but that's just the concept of anime. We gotta get used to it. So their first target is to eliminate. Um, they're trying to eliminate the. Um, relatives of the minister because the min um mine and tatsumi go into town square and they see this public execution basically what the minister does is crucify a bunch of people that did um a bunch of stuff bad and the minister he's not religious he's freaking he messed up so this um civilian comes to the room and protests about how the minister is messing stuff up dude the guards freaking stab him and the minister's gonna go walk up. Wow, I can't believe you're gonna desert your beautiful wife. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. You, 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 you serious? You're... Why would you do that? That's just freaking messed up. Like, you, you don't take somebody's wife after he's dead or in prison. That's just messed up. He ain't no minister. But um, we're going to get back on the subject. Um, Night Raid's mission is to execute the um, Master Lo Locale, I think his name is. And he's a relative of the minister. He uses the name and stuff. And Mine is overpowered with that sniper. I'm talking more skilled than Shinon. And you know how cool, how um, overpowered Shinon is. But she's going to get in position and Tatsumi has to escort her and stuff. And then... Um, there's like a bunch of people. There's like a bunch of people, um, a bunch of women around him. I think, like used as a meat shield. Oh yeah, the minister. He eats raw meat. Cause I like it when it's fresh. You don't just eat raw meat. But um, there's gonna be a bunch of people right around Master Locale, and then um, Mine is going to shoot out of all of those people. She didn't get a collateral. She didn't hit anybody. She just got. The min minister locale. That's just that's skill. And she says herself she's a master sniper. Okay, I believe you. If you can get if you if, if you can shoot a target without killing almost if, if you don't kill any innocent people, you're a master sniper. So then they regroup at the cherry blossom tree, and there's this one guy that comes and attacks Mine and Tatsumi. Tatsumi, um well no, he's not he doesn't use himself as a meat shield, but he like he like hugs him and then he's saying for like Mine to take the shot and Mine shoots um the guy that attacked them and got um got him like it wasn't his heart it was in his chest it almost burned off all of his hair and then um honestly there's not a lot of stuff that happened 
all you got was just a bunch of action, which was really good. But I only have one thing to say. Night Raid is so overpowered. They wipe out people in a minute. Like, if you see Night Raid, you might as well just pray. You better get right because you're about to die. Just make sure you're on their side or you're about to die. But this episode is was really good. I give it an I give it a probably eight, most because that backstory wasn't enough. I mean, okay, we get it. You were tormented, but it doesn't really. All it did was just it doesn't really mature you, cause it doesn't really mature mature Mine into the person she is, cause she's basically just a spoiled rich kid. But I think she just covers that up. She showed a little feelings toward Tatsumi, so that's number two on the harem train. We got Akame liking him, and we have Mine showing feelings for him. We got two people on the harem train. Who's next? Leone? Shile? We'll just have to find it. Maybe even Boss. But, um, and then there's another person that uses Imperial Arm um, weapons just like Mine and cuts up these two guards. The guy looks like a demon with a Cyclops head on his forehead. But, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So I hope you guys liked the video. Do not forget to comment. Hit that like button like it stole something. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming and anime reviews. I do Sword Art Online 2 Saturday, Agami Kid Heal Sunday. And I'll be doing a bunch of other stuff. MC5 comes out Thursday. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter. That will be in the description too. Until we meet again. See ya.